Okay, so you know the drill at this point. I just finished watching The Giggle, part three of the Doctor Who 60th anniversary special, and I gotta say, I wasn't expecting it. And while I'm not entirely sold on the idea, like I, I feel like they should have at least committed to a proper regeneration and just have, cause they, they, they've never stopped. Like that's, they've never done that before. But like, I mean, it's, it was touching to see, to see the doctor like finally, you know, take a break. But at the same time, the bi generation instead of the regeneration, kind of, uh, kind of felt like a cop-out. However, it was ingenious. I did like it. And, like, it's kind of funny. Russell said that we wouldn't have a multi-doctor story, and I think he meant, and looking at it now, he meant it in a way by saying none of the old doctors would be coming back other than Tenet. And he was right. And, you know... I like how they, like, they continue with the this has never happened before thing. Because before that, ten, before that, a face hadn't come back. And a new, a new doctor hadn't been pulled out of the previous. And while I'm not entirely sold on the split regeneration thing, it happened. And you know what? I love Shooty. And his doctor is already spiky. Like, I, I, I already love him. Like, his... Like, I absolutely adored the last, I think, 15 minutes of this episode, or roughly about. Okay, first, can I just say, great callback to the original episode, and great technicality to how that could have happened. I just hope that, as much as I love David Tennant, I hope we don't see the 14th Doctor, like, anytime soon, because... It kind of, it overshadow. I feel like by doing that, it overshadows Shooty by saying, "Hey, David Tennant can come back because we did this." And like, they, I know they had good intentions, like for to let that doctor slow, to let the doctor who had gone through one to thirteen and everything that they went through during that time, during that time, and have them slowed down, and whilst having a new fa and having a new face, continue the adventure. But I feel like if they, like, I feel like, like, if they had done it any other way except for something that Celestial Toymaker did, I would not have cared for it. But they did do it in a creative way. And also, I, I like how the entire time we get to see the 15th Doctor in this episode, he's wearing nothing. He's wearing a overshirt and a tie and boxes and socks. <laughs> like, that's the first look of the 15th Doctor. <laughs> that's hilarious. Like, looking back, I just finished watching it. And, and yes, I'm motioning to my TV because I actually did watch it on my TV this time. <laughs> well, the second half of it because I started watching it while I was out. However, um... That being said, they, I, I approve of that twist, that, that it's kind of a, like, Celestial Toymaker having to do, having to deal with how Shooty comes about, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I, okay, I'm growing to it now. Like, it annoyed me when I saw it, but I'm like, okay, that's creative, and, like, Russell, which by the way, I loved that the good, the technically, the what was going to, what we thought was going to be the goodbye line for the Force and Doctor before, you know, the split in two like an amoeba thing, um, was going to be Alon Z, which was creative, and I liked how we got the first, th like, no, the second thing that 15 says when he comes out is, Hello. Oh, 
oh, hello? Like, like he, uh, he was amazed that it happened. And then we got the, and then, you know, once they pulled apart fully, we got the, now someone tell me what the hell is going on here, thing, with, I, I'm just gushing because I'm looking forward to the Christmas special, looking forward to seeing how, what 15 gets up to. I'm referring to him as 15 because that's technically his number. David was 14, Shuti is technically 15. So, the fact, so yeah, um, I, I also like, um, how they basically explain the my way or the highway attitude and, like, why it's suddenly come about. Like, that's a great tie-in to that. Like, why everyone is so self-entitled. <laughs> if only. <laughs> But, um, also Kate Stewart finally got to meet David Tennant. Oh, you know, the face. Because uh, she was introduced in Smith's era. And got to meet, you know, she was with, she met 11. Got to meet 12. Also got to meet 13. She also got to meet 14. And 15. So, if you want to, like, it's kind of funny that Kate Stewart, oh, hang on. Uh, the Brigadier met the second doctor, the third doctor, he technically met the fifth doctor, and he met the seventh doctor. So that's four. Meanwhile, Kate met, has, like I said, met 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Well, I'm, it's... <laughs> kind of funny, uh, Kate's now met one more doctor than her dad did. <laughs> I, if I'm the only Hoovy, I hope I'm not the only Hoovy that points this out when they review the episode, but if I am, brownie points for me. So basically the doctor has become a legacy in <laughs> the, uh, the Lethbridge Stewart family. <laughs> Except for unit, so make, makes sense. Uh, and I like that they find that they let the doctor settle down. Something that, which by the way, um, they never explained like if the doc say, say, that can that face, you know, fourteen, like if he can, if he gets killed again, like what happened with, uh, like what happened with the the toy maker. Would, would he regenerate or would he just die since 15 exists and he's the next incarnation? So like, that's no, that my, that's, I just realized that. Or, or are they going to say that since that happened, that doctor is now human or something? Because he still has the TARDIS. Like, he's still, you know. That's the only, um, that's actually my only question that I took away from. Like, if that doctor dies, which I don't think he would, would, which I don't think, like, if that incarnation actually dies again, would he, what would happen there? I don't, I don't want that to be answered. I don't want that to be answered. Because I want, I want the next regeneration, I, like, whenever Shuti's done with the role, I want to see him regenerate into the next Doctor. I don't want to see David Tennant regenerate into another Doctor. I don't, but I'm going to stop right there because I don't want this to go into a full play, play a fledged rant because I loved this episode. And before, I, I'm not clues, I'm not stopping the, the re review here because Neil Patrick Harris as the Celestial Toy Maker. Or, sorry, the toy maker. So still toy maker. Uh, and all the callbacks to the previous episode, to the past episodes, Amy, Clara, Bill. I'm just kind of sad they didn't reference Yaz, Graham, Yaz, Graham, Ryan, Dan. But that makes sense. But, I mean, it kind of would make sense they'd, uh, since, you know, they want to move past that. But, uh, also, they name-dropped Rose. They name-dropped Sarah Jane Smith. They... Mel came back. <laughs> And I, I, it took me till now to realize this little maker kind of had a point. He likes the redheads. 
And I, I kind of, I saw that when, I kind of, I said that to myself when I first watched The Eleventh Hour after finishing uh, the original Tenet era, and I'm like, well, that's kind of funny, they followed Donna with Amy, looking back on it. But I don't want to, I don't want to go into a, ta a tangent, uh, this has already been an 11, a almost 11 minute episode of it, even though it's like, yeah, it's like 10 minutes, but my point still stands. So, I can't wait for the Christmas special. It, honest, honestly, if, who is going to continue to be this good? I am really looking forward to it. So, tell me what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below. And, we now have the 15th Doctor. <laughs> so, whatever your thoughts are on this episode, Leave a comment, and let's get this discussion going. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now it's 11 minutes. <laughs> and I will see you for the Christmas special, or if I decide to post something else, like anime-related, because this is an anime channel, <laughs> even though I've been posting mostly, mostly Doctor Who and my podcast, uh, which I don't know if there's a new episode coming, like, in December. There might be, depending on how I feel. But... Well, I say December, later this, later this month, so, or maybe a vlog, who knows, but thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you liked this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and let's get this, and let's get this discussion going on the episode, thank you guys so much for watching, I'm only stalling to try and get it to 12 minutes, but honestly, I feel like I've already dragged out this video enough, so... Yeah, I basically just repeated my outro. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.